Hey guys, whether you're still stuck at home or back at it full speed, you could probably use a little extra energy after a crazy year. It's so important what you put into your body when it comes to your energy level. So today I'm gonna share five snacks I love to make when I need an extra boost, which lately has been all the time. Let's kick things off with one of my favorite snacks, acai mousse. I discovered this a while back at a local market and fell in love with it. Never been more into a snack. Unfortunately, I did not check the price tag before falling in love with it. Oh my gosh. And when I did, I realized I'd have to learn to make it at home. Good news I have, it starts with an acai packet. You can get these, this one's from Trader Joe's. You can often find them on sale at Costco and they come out to be about a dollar a pack on sale. All right, I have partially defrosted my acai and I'm adding it to a food processor, but you can also use a blender. And then I've got some blueberries. These are not frozen, but you can use frozen. I like any sort of berry because it's great for energy. I've got honey for sweetness. If I weren't trying to keep the cost down, I might use some monk fruit just because it has a really low glycemic index. All right, next up I have almond butter. It's just a little boost of protein, which will help sustain your energy. And then finally, totally optional, but I like to add a little bit of protein powder. Today I have a collagen peptide because it has the added benefit of being really great for hair and nails, but you can see I also have some options that would be great for kids. And I'm just gonna add a scoop. You don't really want it to change the texture or flavor of your mousse. I get the top on and get this blending. All right, I'm gonna turn this out into a bowl so you guys can see the beautiful color and kind of the texture of it. You can make it thicker by adding more blueberries. I like mine a little bit thin. And then to top it, I'm gonna do whatever you like, but today I'm gonna to make it just like the original. So I've got some blueberries, goji berries, which are nice because they help stabilize your blood sugar. I've also got some sweet cacao nibs. And then finally, some unsweetened shredded coconut. I like this because it's a nice pop of color. This snack looks and tastes great and it is packed with nutrients to get you through your afternoon. Your resident smoothie queen cannot talk about snacks without one of these. This green green smoothie is going to blow your mind. It looks green, but it tastes just like dessert, so I'm never whipping up just a single serving. For four servings, you're going to need one and a half cup of almond milk, and I'm using an unflavored almond milk. Then I have some green apple, and you can see that I'm leaving the skin on to pack in all those nutrients. I also have frozen banana, which you guys know I always have in my freezer. Really interesting thing about bananas, some people say that they're actually just as good at sports drink at giving you energy because of their carb levels. Finally, I have some kale, which is also frozen. I keep a big bag of this in my freezer, and you can tell I'm putting a fair amount of kale in here and also my uh, counter, because why not make it healthy? This is one of those snacks I love to give to my kids because all the sweetness comes from natural sources. Next time I'll get you a shorter straw, sorry about that. All right, let's mix it up with a super quick snack. Brooks is actually on his snack break from school upstairs. What are we doing? We're gonna make a quick apple snack. All right, so he's got an apple. We like to use red apples. Go ahead. Um, so first we're gonna cut it up. I like to... You've noticed Brooks has graduated from the kid knife to the adult knife. All right, what is next? We're gonna blot the apple so that the peanut butter sticks better. That is right. All right, I'll blot the rest of them. You spread that peanut butter on. You can also use almond butter, but you prefer the peanut butter, right? Excellent spreading. So next, we're gonna put our almonds on. Excellent. Ooh, look at that. All right, you're gonna make the rest of those so we can both have a little bit of a snack. But I also wanted to show you guys an option if you're not free. Um, I picked up this pumpkin seed butter. They also have different seed butters at the store and it's a great option just straight on the apple. And then you can also add some roasted salted uh, pumpkin seeds. These taste delicious and add a nice crunch. Yeah, I love them. Oh, Brooks, this is looking really good. Can I take this bite? Mmm, this is so good. So crunchy. All right, your turn. So good, huh? Yeah. Apple cheers. I love it. Next, we have matcha energy balls, which take things up a notch with a tiny kick of caffeine. I'm gonna use my food processor today and make a big batch of them to keep in my fridge and pull out when I need a pick me up. I'm starting with some rolled oats, and to that, I'll add almond butter or any seed butter. I'm also gonna put some coconut oil in there, which is a great healthy fat, some honey for sweetness. 
Then we've got our secret weapon, the matcha powder. This just has a hint of caffeine to perk you up. Finally, we have a pinch of salt, some chia seeds, and sweet cacao nibs. We use these in our pudding, but they're great because they're low in sugar and high in fiber. Put your top on and mix these up really well. Once you've got this mixed up, all you need to do is form your balls. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon, maybe a heaping teaspoon of our mixture and just kind of roll them together. I love the texture of these. You can get a little bit of a crunch from the sweet cacao nibs and they're sweet but not too sweet. Finally, we have another quick snack for Avery snack break. What are we making? Yogurt parfaits. Okay, Avery has just some regular dairy yogurt. The key is you're looking for a yogurt that has under 10 grams of sugar, which this one does. All right, you spoon that in there. And then I'm gonna talk about some other options. Um, there's a lot of non-dairy options. This one is a cashew milk yogurt. And this is a pilly nut yogurt. I'm not even sure what that is, but I have paid attention to how much sugar is in them and they are under 10 grams. So we are gonna add some berries and today I have blueberries and raspberries. And we've talked about natural sugars and how great they are for your energy levels because you won't get a crash later. Okay, and then Avery's gonna take our final step, which is? Walnuts. Walnuts, these are great here. You can take some and I'll put some on too. Um, these are really great for crunch and also because they are a high density energy food. All right, a super quick snack that is packed with energy boosting ingredients. Oh my God, run. Oh, don't forget your spoon. Love you. Bye. All right guys, that wraps up our five energy boosting snacks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.